Hi everyone, how are you? And welcome to my tiny studio. I'm Nail, and as I said, welcome, 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 welcome. If you are new to the channel, you're going to enjoy what you find here. So why don't you do both of us a favor and hit that subscribe button. And at the end of this video, or right now, go ahead and hit the like button as well so that each time I upload new videos you will be notified and be first or on the ground floor of some exciting conversation inside my tiny studio so how are you today I hope that you're having a fabulous progressive day we're going to talk about coach vintage coach inside the tiny studio um the last time we spoke about coach or vintage coach we talked about my bag of the week which was my city bag and I had the city bag in two colors which is the camel and the black and I have one coach bag coach city bag for sale in my Poshmark boutique and um in the description at the end of this video you'll see my Poshmark address so if you're interested in a nice um, a coat a vintage coat city bag head on over there and check out the coach bag and you know if you feel like it and you want to add it to your collection let's talk <laughs> so Today's video, as I said, is going to be about Vintage Coach. As you probably already know, if you are returning to my channel, I am just in love with all things Coach when it comes to handbags. But most importantly, I love a good Vintage Coach handbag. And I have several. Okay, I'm not being honest. I have a lot. <laughs> in my collection so I believe there was a video that I posted where I talked about how to clean your coach bag and one of the products that I use to clean my vintage coach bags is called Lexol and it's spelled L-E-X-O-L and I bought it from Amazon and it has you can get the con the cleaner by itself and you can get the conditioner by itself but I went ahead and bought the set the cleaning the cleaning the cleaner and the conditioner and I found that using Lexol on my vintage coach handbags it really helped to restore them to their former glory and I also use um, Chamberlain's milk leather milk soap which is also an excellent product to use but more specifically their healing balm is what I am just fascinated with because the healing balm is what I rub around the corners and the bottom of my back because that's where a lot of wear happens is around the corners or the trimming of the back but let me tell you I wasn't always this aware or knowledgeable about how to clean and take care of leather goods especially leather handbags when when it comes to leather goods especially handbags you know as purses in general I wasn't really good at taking care of them I just threw them in my closet when I was done or I would stack them up on top of on top of each other I did not really take the time to stuff them or put them in bags or pillowcases or store them at proper temperatures I didn't do any of that and when I finished the bag I just you know took my wallet and whatever else I had in it and you know wanted out of it and I would just put the bag up in my closet and inside of my bag were all kinds of things gum candy mints, pens, pencils, sometimes old baby pacifiers, <laughs> F 
food, you know, residues from lots of things. When I was a smoker, uh, tobacco would be at the bottom of my bag. It was just a hot mess. And so my bags began to have, of course, they would, you know, the lining would deteriorate from abuse and there would be odors in my bags. And after a certain point, I would just throw them away. I would throw them away go thrifting and buy more and it was just like an endless cycle until I um, got ready to move from Michigan to Florida and I had to go through all my purses and I only brought here a certain amount of purses but I gave away you know a whole closet worth of purses to my best friend at the time and when I was going through my purses I, I just, you know, I realized that, you know, I just was really, really rough and tough on my purses and that I was not taking care of them the way they should have been taken care of, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to properly take care of them. Fast forward to about 14 years later in Florida, I, you know, I... I become passionate about vintage handbags and I began to frequent a consignment store and I started purchasing my very first designer bags. Um, one was where well, two were coach bags and the other was a vintage uh, Gucci bag. And it was those three bags and how I took care of them that led me to begin to reform the way I viewed my handbags and the way I began to care for them and treat them. And this bag right here is one of my first purchases from the consignment store. This is a vintage coach penny bag yes it is it is um, you can take the straps off it's detachable but it's not adjustable so it's attachable because you have these brass lobster hooks or lobster claws there once again you know that this is a vintage coach bag because the hand tag says what it says coach leather wear so this is a vintage coach bag um how else do we know this is a vintage coach uh coach penny bag well of course you notice the hardware is brass all the hardware is brass you open it up look inside and you have this gorgeous gorgeous raw leather right there and then another reason I knew it was real was because it had this is a stuffing because it came with the original coach packing paper Ooh. so I was excited but oh and then, as you see, like most vintage coach bags, the inside is cavernous and it's deep. So you can get a wallet. If you have one of those um, wallets, that those folding wallets, I forgot what you call them. You can get that in here. You can get your inhaler in here. You can get a tube of lipstick. Um, if you have a skinny, if your phone is really small and you don't have that bulkiness like I have, like, you know, a really bulky case, you can get your cell phone inside of this, uh, this penny bag. But, um, it's a really, really good bag, especially structurally. This bag has to be almost 40 plus years of age, if not more. 
I believe this bag was one of the first penny bags and I believe it probably came out in the 1970s. If you know the history of the penny bag, please drop down in the comment section and drop that knowledge on me and everyone else who has joined you in the tiny studio. All right, so how do I know, um, what information do I know about the penny bag? Well, the information that I need to know is going to, I'm going to find it on the creed. And can you see the creed? That's that square that's in the middle of that back slip pocket there. Let's read it and see what it says. All right, it says Coach Leatherwear. It says this is a Coach bag. It is made out of a completely natural glove tan cowhide. The scars, scratches, veins, and wrinkles are natural markings characteristic of full grain leathers. And if you are a, co a vintage Coach snob like me, this next part is really going to make you smile. Made in New York City, USA. <laughs> so you're going to notice that there's also a number there, a registration number. But that registration number, uh, you cannot use it like we do today to find out the authenticity or to find out what the style name is or anything of that nature. Um, these are pre-cold bags. This just has a serial number on it that uh, probably has no meaning and probably, you know, more than likely uh, it's a definer of who crafted uh, or who the craftsman was who worked on this particular bag. I don't know. I'm just guessing. It sounded good, didn't it? But if you know the answer to that question, also drop down in the comment section and please teach us all because we're all here on this planet to learn and if we have knowledge to pass it on, right? Right. Okay, so when I first purchased this bag, and it had to be in, I want to say, 2014 from a consignment store. I bought this and I bought uh, a black, I believe it's called a bleaker, Coach Bleaker handbag. And I bought um, a vintage Gucci handbag as well. So I was really excited because I was like, yay, I found finally have a really a, I finally have a vintage coach bag I was just ecstatic over the moon and excited about it and the coach bag was dry and it was a little dusty and so when I got it home I said well what can I use to make this you know to get rid of the dryness and and the dustiness what can I do to make this bag, you know, bring it back to its former glory? Well, I did something that was really bad. Do you want to know what it is? I have some coconut oil sitting on my dresser that I use to apply to my dress. And so I figured, oh, and also I use coconut oil all over my body. Just... It's just a, a something that has a, a million and one uses around my home. So with the coconut oil, I said, well, if when I'm ashy and I use coconut oil, my skin seems to love it. Let me try some coconut oil on this bag. What a disaster that turned out to be. <laughs> oh, yes, she sure did. This bag, 
it really uh uh it really soaked up the coconut oil but you know what else it did it not only soaked it up but it became slick and sticky and it just did not look good at all it started to turn colors like this color that I'm, I'm showing you right now this is not the actual color of the bag this is the actual color of this bag isn't that gorgeous that that beautiful rust tone this is the actual color of this penny bag but from from abuse at my hand that's what I did to this bag now Upon realizing that I screwed up, I did something else. I took the bag and I dunked it. So I just got some warm water and I added some dishwashing liquid to it. Well, that was the second time. The first time I had, I put shampoo in the water. And I shampooed my bag. I shampooed it. And actually, to be honest with you, I didn't really mess with this part. Because this part still looks good. It looks brand new. I only worked on the parts of the bag that was bad that I had basically ruined. And it was the front and the back as you can tell so after I ducked it and I let it dry five days later I looked at the bag and <laughs> it looked horrible horrible I was like what am I doing wrong so my second process was to get some Dawn and I used the Dawn and I began to scrub it up with the Dawn real good. Okay, so that worked. That worked a little bit. A little bit. But after it dried, guess what I did next? I put some Vaseline on it. <laughs> Lord, why did I do that? I just figured, well, hey, Vaseline is good for skin. You know, why not for leather? It's skin, isn't it? So I didn't really begin to figure out or learn how to take care of a vintage bag until maybe six years later. Six years later, after I basically ruined the bleaker and almost practically ruined this, and I stopped into a vintage coach group, and it's called Vintage Coach Cult. And there were like, I think, two groups. I think it was Vintage Coach Lovers or Coach Lovers. Uh, Vintage Coach Leatherware Rehabbers or something like that and then Vintage Coach Cult. I went into, I, I became members of all of those groups and there were experts in the group who had worked for Coach who were giving good advice on how to care for your vintage bag. It was amazing because the things that I did, oh, what I forgot to tell you is that I also, also used this shoe wax on this bag as well. Yeah. And then after I washed it a few more times, the dye in the water it, it just scared me with how much of the coloring from the bag was just seeping into the water. 
And I ha I knew that that could not be good. So when I entered those groups and I started learning how to properly rehab my vintage coach bags, I began to feel better about what I was doing. So this bag, even though it's not looking the best that it could look, guess what? It still looks a thousand times better than it did seven years ago. Because seven years ago, I basically I basically jacked up this bag. And it was so sticky. It was sticky all over. And now the bag, from what I've been learning and the process of rehabbing it that I uh, went through with the Lexol cleaner and conditioner, and then healing balm, the Chamberlain's uh, healing balm, I was able to bring it back to not its former glory, but it still looks a whole lot better than it did when I first started fooling around with it and basically abusing it. And the raw leather on the inside is still beautiful. You know, I just take a suede brush and I brush it. You know, the inside still looks brand new. It looks good. Because I learned some things. I learned that when you finish using a bag, stuff it. Oh, but most importantly, make sure you clean it out before you restuff it. That's very important. And then um, I'm going to begin to work on cleaning the brass hardware on this bag. And I ordered some brass cleaner to do so. Um, I, I'm following the recommendations of the expert coach rehabbers in the coach group and I'm going to clean this the hardware because there is a brass patina that is um, or age that's happening to my lobster hook or claw and it's getting it's, 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 it's eating into the leather around the corners of the bag so I'm going, there it is, if you can see that. So I'm going to get some cleaner, some brass cleaner and clean this off. And then get something, some uh, leather cleaner to get all of that, that patina, that green stuff off. It's a name for it. I just don't know it right now. <laughs> but anyhow this is a penny bag not to be confused with the dinky and I know sometimes I do confuse it I called it a dinky in one of my other videos but it's not a dinky it's smaller than a dinky it's a penny bag and it's such a beautiful beautiful bag such a beautiful bag and this is just a cautionary tale that when you have vintage leatherware, don't go by your own understanding or what you think is going to work on your bag when, you, when it comes to caring for it. Look up some information. Do research first before you uh, go off on your own and come up with some type of come up with your own remedy or um, ideology on how to care for this bag because what happens is if you don't know you could possibly ruin the bag and see coach it's not coach is a vintage coach is something that lasts for a very long time this is a 40 plus year old bag all right, possibly 50 year old bag. So how does this bag, how does this bag 
uh, last as long as it does. And the, the reason and how it's able to do so is number one, it's made from the very best leathers. Number two, the craftsmanship is second to none. And number three, you, the caretaker, have to be loving and nurturing, nurturing and lo loving, nurturing, and knowledgeable on how to take care of this. Because you can, these days, vintage coach handbags are appreciating at a great, great percentage. Not only that, coach handbags, vintage coach bags, if you take care of them, you can pass them down to your children or your grandchildren. They're multi-generational because just think, this handbag has to be about almost 50 years old. Someone enjoyed this bag. Someone in, someone loved it. Someone took it out. Someone uh, went to dinner with it. Someone went to the grocery store with it. Someone enjoyed life wearing this bag. And now it's in my hands. And I'm now enjoying life handling this bag and I want to be able to pass it on to my daughters and my daughter-in-law and that's a whole different life and I want them to be able to pass it on to their children as well but it all starts with me it all starts with knowing how to properly care for your handbag so this is the coach penny vintage coach penny in a beautiful rust color. She doesn't have a back pocket or a back slip pocket. And she doesn't have a slip pocket in the front. She just has one she just has one uh, large compartment and a zip pocket that goes the length, I just length, which <laughs> which runs the width of the bag, and that's it. She's very basic, but don't sleep on people who are basic. Don't sleep on simplicity. Never do that because it's the steady. The steady and sure that wins the race, right? And that's what vintage coaches are. Steady and sure. But you got to know how to take care of them. So, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Simply Nails inside my tiny studio. And check me out for more vintage coach videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye now.